around here for shit ligament? I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist. Basically, um, musculoskeletal is the bones and joints, and then the soft tissues. We see a, a large gamut of patients. How many questions at all before we get started? Yeah, we see the older patients with arthritis. And then we also see the teenage athlete that, you know, hurts their knee playing soccer or basketball, baseball. And then we also do see some of the local athletes as well. Is that the root of the posterior horn of the knee? I always was fascinated by what imaging could do. There's so much that can help people feel better and get back to their active lifestyle. I've actually always been a very visual person and really could kind of think in three dimensions at a pretty young age. So I think that's something that drew me to radiology in the first place. I just remember taking these tests where they would fold up the paper and then put a punch and then you'd have to think what the paper would look like opened up. And I always loved that part of the basic standardized test and I always scored really high on that part. The anterior and cruciate ligament. I think radiology is a lot of pattern recognition. The articular cartilage of the lateral compartment. When something small is different, it just kind of jumps out at you. So I think having a subspecialist, someone that does this all the time and really recognizes that pattern is to the advantage because hopefully there's less uh, misses and more accurate reads. More numbing here. I like being able to be kind of a physician's physician and help them treat their patients. Does that feel numb to you? I enjoy if a physician comes to review a case or calls on the phone just to kind of talk about what's going on with the Hopefully patient. it wasn't too bad for you. No, it was fine. The clinicians could have 10 things on the differential and they get the, the, the CT or the MRI and suddenly the diagnosis is crystal clear.